Ozark Geek here, starting to work on another project that I'd share it with you as I get started building it and putting it together anyway. I'm working on an Envis antenna. The antenna is made by HF EDZ. Uh, this is a 80, 60, 40 meter uh, Envis antenna that is made um, from, looks like, uh, Louis Rivera in Puerto Rico. Uh, bought it off of eBay as a, for me, an experiment as a test to see how the uh, HF works. Uh, recommends to me uh, to be mounted about 10 foot tall with the, uh, says 10 to 15 foot tall. I, I've got a 10 foot pole here and uh, then the uh, the lines will come off the side to our uh, 20 foot uh, for 40 meters and uh, requires a 20 or 40 meters requires 20 feet of rope to tie down with and the 80 meter requires seven feet of rope so I'm just getting started here and what happens it'll be the antenna itself will mount via clamp around the pipe here and then I'm going to take it up the uh, 40 and 80 meter wires clip around the uh, little uh, hooks here with a hook and then tie to one pair goes on this side and the other pair goes on this side of the antenna and of course on the bottom you've got a uh, connector for running your coax to the, the truck or the, to the in my case be my trailer um, and it looks like to be a pretty easy straightforward installation but uh, that's kind of what I'm working on now so as I get a chance to work on it some more get it put together get it tied down I'll add some video to this and see where it goes and then I'll be able to test it and try it the uh, idea for an Envis antenna is a um, kind of a low wave propagation the transmit receive where with most of your HF antennas you're looking to get you know good range bouncing your signal off the ionosphere but with an Envis antenna you're looking for a much narrower uh, focus this is going to be a According to the research I did, it's going to have a range of about three to 500 miles. Um, so it won't be talking long distance at all, but it should be uh, near term. So I'm looking at it as like a statewide uh, communications medium. But I'll get, the, get to work on this, get it put together, and uh, be able to get back to you guys with some more detail. Got any questions, leave your comments. If you like it, click the button and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. Thanks. Ozark Geek out. Ozark Geek here. Show them how you're doing. All right, I'm uh, working on a project that I'm going to be setting up a Envis antenna. And I picked up an Envis antenna made by, I don't know if you can see it in this light. There we go, HFEDZ antennas they're out of Puerto Rico um, the antenna is has got a 40 and an 80 meter length of wire on both sides or both halves if you will and uh, you can see it's got a little clip on this nut here to hold it both a 40 and an 80 leg wire goes on one side as well as the other side the back has a clamp uh, for clamping to a post. The clamp or the antenna needs to be mounted about uh, 10, 15 feet maximum to uh, to the ground. Hang on a second, I got to grab a coax. I'll get out of the thorns. But the antenna has to will go on a mast about eight to uh, they say optimal is 8 to 12 feet 
and uh, the manufacturer recommends 10 to 15 feet and the idea is that here we've got like I said we've got four wires they're going to go out in 90 degree angles from the post and spread out at the end of the wire is either a 21 foot length of cord or a seven foot length of cord to get them at equal lengths and so that will straighten out the wire and stabilize it i've got a coax here that uh, i'm going to mount to the bottom and get it set up so i'm going to pause this for a moment and hook up the coax Okay, so now I got a piece of coax on here. Uh, I'm eventually going to replace this uh, coax seal with some fresh, clean stuff. Um, but this is an experiment for me. The uh, uh, NVIS antennas are used for near range HF. The idea that normally when you think of HF, you're thinking a very long, long range, thousand mile plus international type of transmissions and reception with this the idea is three to five hundred miles so i'm going to be using this to see if i can do a uh, statewide coverage for where i live and for emergency communications and backup so uh i'm gonna get uh, some help here to um, start figuring out where to mount this thing and get the cable ties down and uh, or get the wires uh, hammered down into the ground and we'll go from there so I'll get back and show you what everything looks like once I get it set up thanks okay Ozark Geek here I'm back again well as you can see I've now got the antenna mounted on top of the mast and we've got the leads out at approximately 90 degree directions the each wire has a uh, okay and here it is on a 10 foot pole setting on the ground um, I'm not burying this pole on the ground um, this may be end up being just a, a temporary thing and I want to have it more for an emergency use antenna if it works out like uh, like I'm planning so I don't want to really bury a pole out here in the ground uh, each of the wires comes off and gets extended out as you can see it goes out and at the end down here I've got a, uh, a t orange tent peg so it's easier to see but there's the uh, off the end of it and at approximately 90 degrees uh, in direction from each other so at 180 degrees I've got 240 uh, meter wires and 90 degrees from that I got uh, 280 meter wires running at 180 degrees to each other so what I'm going to do is get my meter and hook up and see just what kind of signal I get right now coming off the antenna and if everything looks good I'm going to put a, uh, a lightning arrestor in line and ground it and then take a line and run it into uh, my 10 tech paragon uh, HF radio and hopefully get to test it out fairly soon so that's what I've got so far uh, leave any comments or questions Ozark Geek out Shalom